Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Monday, August 26, 2019. We've got football coming up in just a few days. Going to get to that in just a bit. We've got Major League Baseball on Monday, uh, a free pick for Major League Baseball coming up. Uh, so listen, football arrived on Saturday, college football, week zero, and uh, we told you about the Doc Sports Journal. We gave you a little statistic in the Doc Sports Journal that talked about Hawaii being on a 6-0 run against the spread at home against Pac-12 teams and make that 7-0 now as they got the cover over Arizona. Got the outright win as as much of an 11-point dog at one point with that spread. I wasn't involved. Uh, I wasn't involved in either college football game over the weekend. Uh, last we talked, we did have the free pick winner here on the Seattle Seahawks and we'll take a 6-3 free pick and premium pick combined NFL preseason record into week four. More on that in a bit, but I want to tell you how to get this DocSports.com journal. It's 160 pages of worthwhile information, including the schedules in both NFL and college football, broken down in schedule order throughout uh, the entire season. But I gave you some examples the other night. You go to a certain game, if there's a footnote on the game from uh, a meeting a year ago, it'll show you what page to go to to get all the important information from that game. It'll show you if there's any angles, situations, or trends. I have a little footnote tell you to turn to a certain page. You look up that trend or angle. One of those, again, was the fact that Hawaii had covered six straight against Pac-12 teams at home. Now, listen, there's a couple of ways you can get the Doc Sports Journal, and it's only 11 bucks. Go to the website, docsports.com, and check it out, the information on the homepage. You enter your address, all that kind of stuff, or where you want the docsports.com, excuse me, the Doc Sports Journal to be sent. Enter that information, you're going to get it. Again, it's only 11 bucks. If you want to go to Google, you can Google search Doc Sports Journal. It'll pop up, give your information on the sign-up page. And again, you'll get that Doc Sports Journal sent to you for only 11 bucks. So don't miss out 160 pages worth of great information. Wanted to tell you a little bit about the weekend. We mentioned here on Saturday, the last time we talked to you, we had the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, we end up 6-3 and three through three weeks of preseason play, free picks and, and premium picks combined in the NFL. Uh, but it was a losing weekend for me with premium picks. No doubt about it. We had a great run, uh, 31 and 15, but we hit the speed bump this past few days. I lost in baseball over the weekend. I lost an eight-unit play on Sunday in the WNBA. And here's the thing. Now, WNBA, we're going to head into Tuesday because there's no games on Monday. We're going to head into Tuesday on a 34-17 and two run. That's good stuff. 67% winners will take that every day of the week. However, if you are new and Sunday was your first play with me in the WNBA, 34 and 17 means absolutely nothing to you, and I get it. It's a tough loss. It wasn't a bad beat. I was just wrong, simply put. And we tell you about the winners when I remember to do so. I'm one of those guys who forgets to tell you about the winners sometimes. We tell you about the winners, but we also need to tell you when we lose. And my baseball, not good this weekend. Premium picks. WNBA lost. So we look to bounce right back on Monday, and I'm going to give you the only, the only pick that I like in baseball on Monday as a free pick coming up on this report. We don't have a premium play on Monday. There's no WNBA. Uh, there's no football. We'll release those on Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern over at DocSports.com. And there is baseball, but it's an abbreviated schedule, and I've gone over it a couple of times. And I'll tell you what, I just don't find anything worth playing other than the play that I'm about to give to you for free. So we'll do that in just a second. Football. Number one last year, college football, NFL combined. We're on a 153 and 105 with a couple of ties run in college football, around 60% winners. NFL, 60 and 35 with a push or two, our last 95, 97 plays. Overall, over the last 393 plays in the NFL, uh, we are hitting almost 60% against the spread. We're a top 20 finisher in the Westgate Super Contest a couple of seasons ago. I'll be back in the Westgate Super Contest. I'll tweet out a couple of picks when I get signed up with my proxy on Tuesday afternoon. So listen, we put our money where our mouth is. And uh, we expect to do that when you guys are uh, jumping on board with me and with us over at DocSports.com. Don't forget to grab those college and NFL packages because, again, college football gets underway with a slew of games coming up this Thursday and throughout the weekend. And here's what we're going to do here on the Free Picks Report. I wanted to let you know about this. On uh, Thursday's video, Friday's video, Saturday's video, free college football picks each and every day here on the Free Pick Report. Simple as that. So be sure to check out the video videos all weekend long, especially Thursday, Friday, Saturday, when I give you a different and new free pick each day of the week. 
As far as some of the betting that's gone on, listen, we've seen a lot of money coming in on Texas State over Texas A&M. That number's dropped from, you know, 35 and a half, 36 down to as low as 33 uh, around town. Uh, and the thing is, is we're seeing, you know, a lot of tickets being written on the A&M Aggies, the chalk, the favorite in that game. But a good majority of the money so far coming in on Texas State. That's been one of the top plays so far for the opening night of college football on Thursday. And as far as, for instance, like Georgia Tech and Clemson, now there's a favorite on Thursday that's been getting all the money to Clemson Tigers. No one seems to be afraid of laying the big chalk with Clemson. They've gone from as low as 33 and a half up to 36. So there's a dog in Texas State that's getting a lot of money. There's a favorite in Clemson, as you would expect, is getting a lot of the money right now. And those lines have moved, moved significantly uh, for Thursday's games. And we'll let you know more about where the tickets are, where the money is throughout the course of this week as we head into this weekend. Obviously, a little bit different than any other week during the season because these lines have been up uh, since June in some instances and July and August, early August in other books. So anyway, a little bit of a touch there and a little bit of a taste on college football in the NFL. Our college football and NFL preseason plays, if we get involved in the NFL, will be posted Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific time. I'm going to tell you right now a couple of teams that I am not going to go against. The Baltimore Ravens, not only because they're undefeated now, uh, going back a couple of preseasons, but week four has been tremendous under Harbaugh for the Baltimore Ravens. He went into the season, weeks one, weeks four, and even his week five game that he played in when he was in a Hall of Fame game have been just tremendous covering weeks for the Ravens under John Harbaugh. Uh, and, and of course, they're on this incredible streak. And as far as Minnesota, same goes for Zimmer. He has a real nice record in week four. When nobody else cares, he puts his backups in a position to perform their best. That's what we've seen out of Kyle Slaughter, man. Have you seen this kid? He is now, I think it's 95 for 126. 75, 76% uh, is what his passing completion rate is as a pro in preseason play. I think it's 95 for 126. He's got 10 touchdowns and is still not thrown an interception. They get a front door cover this past weekend because Slaughter comes in and starts firing away, going for a touchdown in the final minute. So listen, if he's out there on the field in the closing quarter, I don't think you want to go against him. So don't know if we'll be on the Ravens and the Vikings this week. We will certainly not be playing against them. I can tell you that much. All right, uh, let's get to our free pick for Monday. Again, we have no premium baseball on Monday, but you can grab my college football and NFL packages on Monday. And the one play that we do have in baseball, I'm going to give it to you right now. That's the clash between the Pirates and the Philadelphia Phillies in Philly. Game time, 7.05 Eastern. You got Joe Musgrove going against Jason Vargas. Here's the thing about Musgrove. Uh, when you look at how he's done against Philly, he's done pretty well, uh, both against them overall and in Philly. Now, I know he doesn't have 20 games under his belt, career-wise. There's not a huge sample size. And I'm not the first one to report this. It is all over the net. But if you take out Segura uh, from the Phillies and look at how he's done against everybody else on this Philly roster, Musgrove's actually held those guys to six hits in their last 52 at-bats against them. Again, taking Segura out of the mix. He's hitting about 400 against Musgrove, but he can only come up once through the order, right? Every few innings. As far as Vargas is concerned, so far in three starts at home since being acquired by the Phillies, he's been just fine. And same goes if you include his start earlier this season in Philly uh, when he was pitching for the enemy. And so this is a situation where we got Jason Vargas, who's done well here at his new digs four times this season, three times of his current team. We got Musgrove, who's enjoyed pitching against Philly for the most part and in Philly. And I think you're going to see this game stay under. It's nine and a half, a little bit of juice on the under as we speak. When you look at the way these teams have fared when they hook up in Philly, seven, one, and three to the under the last 11 times. I'm recommending a play on the under between Pittsburgh and Philly on Monday. You've got Musgrove taking on Vargas in that one. And again, don't forget, premium college football NFL posted this week on Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. No premium baseball for Monday. I expect to be back in action on Tuesday. We'll have a full slate in both baseball and the W. WNBA. Free pick is my only baseball play for Monday, under nine and a half between the Pirates and the Phillies. Hope you like these videos, everybody. If you do, click on the link, uh, click on the like button, and of course, be sure to subscribe. Do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Sprites of DocSports.com. Let's put Monday in the win column right back here Tuesday, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.